In Washington, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi held, uh, told a joint meeting of Congress that the ties that bind the U.S. and his country are indispensable. Modi received a warm reception from lawmakers, sharing his vision as he looked to deepen the relationship between the U.S. and the fastest growing major economy. Let us work together to convert shared ideals into practical cooperation. There can be no doubt that in advancing this relationship, both nations stand to gain. Modi hopes that gain translates into a more prosperous India. And as Seema Modi tells us, U.S. companies also plan on being part of India's growth strategy. India continues to garner the support of corporate America, partly due to its economic growth story and also its passionate pro-business leader, Narendra Modi. U.S. executives John Chambers of Cisco and Jeff Bezos of Amazon at a reception last night pledged their deep support for the prime minister's growth agenda. I'm pleased to announce today that Amazon will invest an additional $3 billion on top of the $2 billion investment that we announced in 2014, bring our total committed investment in India to over $5 billion U.S. dollars. With China slowing down, India's appeal as a destination for U.S. companies continues to grow. You hear U.S. industrials talking about the opportunities in India, and, and clearly India has replaced China. And I think that's a story is only getting better. Uh, we've heard Apple talk about it. We've heard GE. We've heard Lockheed, all these companies. Experts say in order for U.S. companies to prioritize growth in India over China, the Indian government will have to crack down on corruption, bureaucracy and red tape, which Prime Minister Modi says he's working to improve. The question is when we'll see results. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Seema Modi in Washington.